Welcome to the CHC Insider. This week, avoiding the freshman 15, a very talented first year student, smokers speak out, and more. The Insider begins now. It's a familiar part of college life, gaining weight in the first year and beyond, but it doesn't have to happen. There are plenty of ways to exercise on and off campus. Our own Jacqueline Maldonado spoke with Phys Ed Director Janice Kuklick. That there's plenty to do around here. First of all, if we stay to the outside of the grounds, there's Fairmont Park, which is uh, right down the road here. There's a trail that goes all the way into Philly it's about five miles into Lincoln Drive, and students can use the bicycles. And people come from all over, and some of our students don't even know that it exists over there. And they can walk or jog, that's available to them. We have the fitness center, of course. Students are encouraged to use the fitness center for cardio and for strength training. And then we have the pool, and the pool hours are posted on the internet as well. So we would encourage students to take advantage of those things. And then the, this gym, you know, whenever there's availability, students can come in when it's not used for PE classes. And we'd like to encourage them, if they want to pop down to some of the classes, uh, anytime they want, if they want to come for one class, two classes. We offer Pilates football yoga, which is a great way to do some uh, core strengthening, work on your flexibility, but strengthening, balancing, and also that mind-body connection. So, do you think there's a danger of students becoming too overweight once they get to college? There is a big danger. Um, you know, it's called the college fifth, uh, the freshman 15, but technically, you know, it can happen every semester, every year you can gain 15 pounds if you, you know, just decrease your activity level and um, are not making good healthy choices, food choices. So, yeah, it's something that, that, that students have to be aware of. If you're interested in meeting some new people around campus, there's an ideal event coming up this Friday, the meet and greet concert. The Insider's Paige Rivera spoke about the event with Chris Dunn. Hi, I'm here with Chris Dunn, and Chris Dunn is the man behind the meet and greet, so he'll tell us a little bit about it. I primarily wanted something to, to promote campus ministry and to really help the, uh, the freshmen, along with the other class uh, members, really get to know one another. And uh, this is a great way for freshmen to come out and listen to some local bands and uh, see what campus ministry is all about. I'm here to promote campus ministry to the rest of the school. So what could the people attending expect to get out of this event? Well, I set up some pretty awesome bands to begin with. Uh, we have at least, uh, I want to say four or five um, half an hour sessions of big bands playing around right campus. Really? And they're, yeah, we have a, I think we have a freshman band coming in. We have a lot of junior and senior bands coming in. So they're all students that go here. So it's, it's a good local vibe. Do you feel like in planning this event, you yourself got more involved with the campus? Of course, um, this is something, this is like almost like my baby. I, uh, I've been working hard to see what I can accomplish myself and it's, it, in, in that, it's made me get to know people better, get to know the ministry better through that. Could you run past when does it take place, where does it take place, and who can come? Um, well, it takes place Friday, September 17th. Um, the times are 7 to 10 p.m. and everyone's invited. Well, Chris, I just want to thank you for stopping by and letting us all know about the meet and greet. And I'll be sure to grab a seat at the meet and oh, greet. I hope to see you there. All right. Bye-bye. The number of smokers is steadily declining in America, but lots of young people are still lighting up. Here at CHC, smokers are forced to feed their habit at just a few locations. We spoke with some of them about the campus rules. You're basically forced to walk so far away from people, so at least this should be larger than two benches against a wall, but... Chestnut Hill should have a designated smoking room inside the building for winter, for us smokers who are going to be out here like... all winter. It's a nice little social room. I understand why they don't want it in the building to the building's not smelling like smoke, but I feel like we are kind of set aside from everything else and they don't really want us to be smoking, uh, so it's tough. On The Insider, we'll regularly be featuring talented students here on campus in our segment, We Got Talent. This week, our own Taylor Eben is joined by Carla Ann Clauda, a first-year student who sings and plays guitar. Hi, I'm here with Carla Ann Clauda, a first-year student who's not only my good friend, but 
an excellent musician as well. So Carla, how long have you been playing? Well, I've been playing for about two years, I'd say, give or take. I taught myself how to play, and so I've just been progressing. And do you play for fun, or like, are you looking to get a career out of it? Well, like, it'd be awesome. Everybody wants to be a rock star, but I think it's more just enjoyment and playing for other people. And I couldn't help but notice, uh, like, all the drawings on your guitar. Well, my guitar itself, I actually got it from a friend, and she just drew all over it because I couldn't buy my own. I just, like, took hers. So, I mean, they're lyrics of other songs, which I do know, but it really doesn't have any sentimental meaning or anything. All right, what are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play a piece of I'd Lie by Taylor Swift. So, here we go. Looks around the room Innocently overlooks the truth Shouldn't the light go on Doesn't he know I've had him memorized for so long He sees everything black and white Never let nobody see him cry I don't want nobody to see me wishing he were mine And I could tell you his favorite color is green He loves to argue, born on the 17th Sister's beautiful, he has his father's eyes And if you ask me if I loved him if you ask me if I loved him, I'd lie, I'd lie, I'd lie. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Well, uh, where can people go to hear you sing? Um, well, I mean, I mostly just play guitar with you <laughs> or um, people around campus, but I don't have any shows or nothing really coming up. Well, you did an awesome job. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you. And anyone else out there, if you're talented or you know anyone who's talented mm -hmm. and would like to be on the show, just feel free to let us know. Finally, here are a few things coming up on campus. Monday, enjoy a snack with free popcorn outside of the cafeteria. And in the Gruber Theater, candidates for SGA speak out at the candidates forum. Tuesday, it's a cleaning out our closet sale in the social room. And there's Quizzo in the Griffin's Den. Thursday, splatter your world. Come and throw some paint around on the summer house lawn. Friday, the Fridays after dark bowling trip. Join your fellow Griffins for a night in the alleys. That's it for this edition of The Insider. Let us know if you have any story ideas or a talent we can showcase. See you next time. If you ask me if I